Okay, this is the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. This is Thursday, September 5th. We're almost in the fall. Um, on the agenda, I have GSOC, Contributor Spotlight Story and Events, as we have events that's coming up. Is there anything else that we should add to the agenda? Nothing on my side, thank you. Okay. All right, so moving forward. So GSOC, we have completed four projects that's been passed and all final evaluations has been turned in on time. Thank you very much, Bruno, uh, for helping hurt the cats and getting, uh, getting all those um, evaluations in on time. So now everybody can get paid. <laughs> and then um, we have Phillips, project that is being extended and the deadline there is September 20th. So we are good to go. Um, contributor spotlight story. So Kevin, please correct me if I have it off here. So I have Olivier that's slated for September 10th. Um, Shive reached out to me yesterday and um, I'm gonna put Shive on for September 24th. And then Adrian's uh, slated to post on October 8th. Do I have anything that, are you okay with this schedule? Yeah, that's perfect. I had an issue this past week where uh, where I wasn't able to interview Adrian. And mm -hmm. with the weekly release and all the spring security stuff that's been going on, I felt bad just like, trying to take him away from any of that when it's been so mission critical. So mm -hmm. um, I have a time with him tomorrow to go do the interview. So uh, having him uh, be moved to the next, next uh, spotlight is actually perfect in this case. So um, this okay. works out great. And uh, yeah, I see Ch Chavez's response here. So I can put that together and uh, connect with them about it. Okay. And then I will work on the pull request once we get closer to September 10th. Right now I have a DevOps world that's kind of brewing for me, so. The pull request for? Olivier. Oh, I already submitted it. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm back. I figured I would go back to submitting the spotlights and everything since I'm back and like in the swing of things again, so. Oh, all right, awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll, send, a, I'll send the link over um, after the meeting so you can check it out and review. But yeah, I, okay. I took care of Olivier's already. He's good to, um, and he I've been connecting with him over email about the response and everything. So mm. that should be good to go. Okay, thank you so much. All right, um, okay. And then I'll start following up for additional stories too um, once I get DevOps world out of the way. Um, Oh, Bruno, you added yeah. under GSOC. Sorry. Very no bad manners. I added something to the agenda during the, uh, the meeting. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I saw yesterday that Valentina and Trilo had uh, gone through an interview on Modern's YouTube channel. So Modern is the um, company that is behind, um, what is it called? Open Rewrite, in fact. Okay, so they offer some services to open source uh, projects for free, and they were very supportive uh, during the GSOC project. Uh, we saw Tim Tebeck um, on our um, Slack channel, for example, uh, asking if he could help in a way or another. So that is the conclusion of uh, this project. Uh, Schwider and Valentin were part of a roundtable um, about how our GSOC project, and that's pretty good to, to watch. Oh, cool. Thanks for sharing that. I'll, I'll take a look at it. Thank you. Um, and uh, Alyssa, real quickly, um, on that note, would uh, once GSOC is completely finished, would that be a good source to maybe uh, ask about next contributor spotlights? We just did um, last year's over the summer or just before summer hit. And um, now that they're finishing up with the extra exposure, it might be nice to have them share that for their experiences, stuff like that as well. Uh, for you mean Sridhar? I mean any of the GSOC participants, ah, really. Um, gotcha. Yeah, just okay. thinking like after Adrian and while we still are trying to figure out who the next ones might be or whom we might 
uh, still need to reach out to, that might be a good kind of, uh, you know, not buffer, but buffer in that sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the idea. Okay. Um, is that worth a tweet, Bruno, for that video? I guess so. That's a good idea. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll take a look. Thank you. All right. And so then event, I have September 10th, the Adoptium. That's the online event that Bruno, that you're speaking at. Oh, yes. Yeah, next week. Yes. Ouch. Oh, <laughs> that should be okay. The presentation is almost finished. Um, and yeah, I've got a few things to get rid of because it's only a 30 minutes talk and I'm at 35. Mm -hmm. oh. But yeah, I'm almost done. It's a story of um, how Jenkins transitioned to um, Adoption Stimmerin. Uh, mm -hmm. after OpenJDK gave the code to the Eclipse Foundation, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that's the story and why we stick with Temerin. And then the week after, more or less, uh, mm -hmm. it's CD Mini Summit. So I'll be in Vienna the whole week. No, not the whole week. From the Monday to the Wednesday, we have the open source um, summit. I think it's called like that. And then we have some kinds of mini summits on Thursday, and one of them being the CD Mini Summit. And I managed to get a slot for another talk about the, um, yeah, a, a GSOC project, by the way, you know, the one we mm. did last year with uh, Ashutosh Saxena regarding the revamping of the um, Jenkins tutorials. Cool. Exciting. So, well, I'll send out tweets for reminder for those too. Oh, thank you. Um, DevOps world. So we made good progress with regards to um, getting all of our sessions. So we, we were given a track and uh, we got two sessions um, on the agenda for Jenkins. And then there's two other sessions that came from AD, AWS, how they're using Jenkins and AWS to build um, their I think it's gaming, um, but we have it all down. We got everything that the events team had requested for in time, in a short period of time. So we got slides in and we have recordings. That's, well, we completed one recording yesterday and then we have the others that's scheduled uh, by next, by this week, end of this week. So, um, I think we're good to go there. I, I was wondering, sorry to interrupt. Um, mm -hmm. is, are the recording just a safe manner, just in case something happens? Or will everything be recorded and then played during the um, DevOps World virtual? So all sessions are being recorded. And then they will edit it. Um, just to make sure that everything fits in the time slot. And if, and then there's all, uh, I know that uh, Basil is going to be re-recording. I think he, he, he said that he's, he's going to re-record a section uh, or a couple of slides that are Mark's um, part. Um, and then I don't know, Kevin, if you remember yesterday, towards the end of the presentation, there was one slide under um, that Tim Jacome was speaking to. Um, we didn't use that slide eventually, so that's going to get cut out. So there's going to be some tidying up by the um, events team. Was Did that that's... answer your question? Yes, you know? of course. That's unusual. So thanks for clarifying. Yeah. Yeah, so everything's yeah. being recorded. I, and I think Mark and I will be on the 17th, we'll be online and, um, you know, just to be there, just to take questions and things like that, if any. Oh, okay. Thank yeah, you. Kevin? Oh, no, I was going to say, I, got, um, I think there's also the, after the session is uh, planned to be over, there's a short Q&A or live Q&A for that. Um, 
So he, are we all going to be there for that? Or would that just be, is that the part that you're talking about now? Or it's just you and Mark being there? For yeah, okay. I. it's just me and Mark. But if you would like to, you know, hang out, you're more than welcome to. But, you know, I think from our past experience, it's been quiet. Um, so we didn't want to take up a lot of people's time. Um, but, you know, if you just kind of want want to like hang out, you're more than welcome to. Yeah. And it's during the, um, you know, our business hours, like the, the West Coast business hours. So um, that may be too late for our European friends. Um, so we didn't want to ask that of them. Yeah. Um, so good progress there. And then I think the next step is they're probably going to announce soon when the physical DevOps world is going to be. So um, we don't have dates and location on that, but that is probably coming soon. Um, and then Hacktoberfest. I I think we're doing Hacktoberfest. Bruno? I think so, so yes. Yeah. Last been time done. I heard was by that uh, Bruno um, John Mark led that program. Yeah, I think this year it's Mark and Basil. Uh, no, Basil, sorry, Darren. My Basil. Oh. No, Mark and Darren. And also, I'm there maybe as a backup or doing background work. We're supposed to have a few meetings in order to sort the existing uh, issues, to tag them with good first issue and so on. Um, yeah, we have some homework to do before it becomes something, but yes, we're supposed to participate in Actable Fest this year. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll check in with Darren. Um, yeah. Thank you. All right. Okay, cool. I think that's, that's it. And then if you, um, see their announcement for Fostum for the stand, oh. please ping me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes we'll do. I miss that. Uh, I think of it most uh, every day, in fact, because I, okay. I'm kind of stressed with that because we we lost Jean Marc for the preparation of uh, FOSDEM. So I look uh, in my mailbox to see if there is something. And even if I get something, I won't be able to reproduce uh, the huge work Jean Marc was doing locally in Brussels. So um, Wish me luck. <laughs> I'll do what I, what I can. All right. Yeah. And I'm here to help you in Thank any you. ways possible. Good to I hear. don't I don't know whether we're gonna do the contributor summit. So I did talk to Mark about it and uh, he needs to check on the budget. Of course. So uh more to come, but I will keep my eyes out for the Fostum stand announcement as well. Um yeah. Okay. Okay, I thank you. I think that's it.